That one's good. Hey guys. Hey guys. All right, Chuck E. Cheese pizza. I'm excited about this. Notice I did a fancy little, I'm gonna give you guys a better close before I crack open my beer and before I get into talking so much. Uh, can you I'm move gonna, your plate yeah, real quick? Yeah, I over. And uh, I'll show you, I have one slice of regular pizza on top because the Chuck E. Cheese pizza is nothing to go bragging about uh, size-wise. But I've said it before and I'll say it again. Size does not always matter. Um, it just doesn't. Taste matters. Quality matters, not quantity. And I have salad and garlic knots. And then Khaki's got something very different, something creative. I do. Hey Val, what's up, Annette? Hello, Val. Hello, Annette. How are you, Lee? How are you guys tonight? So I have I wanted Thanksgiving food for whatever reason. I don't know why I was craving it. So I did turkey roll-ups and I stuffed my turkey. Turkey slices from the deli, and I stuffed them with stuffing, topped them with some gravy and some cranberry sauce, and I have some mashed potatoes and some broccoli. What's up, Rebel Beast? The bottom's still really hot. <clears throat> Don't wait for me. Get into it. You're gonna oh, have I'm some... not waiting. I'm starving right oh, now. Oh, look at this. I ate the Hello, Cheetos. I ate my big bag of Cheetos that I had in the freezer last night with my son today watching Power Rangers in bed. So, this is what I got for Cheetos. <laughs> I don't care. I fit, I, you know what? It fit the I mood. I wish you would have told me I would have picked you up Cheetos. Khaki, it, perfect, it worked out perfect. I have got a box of pizza food with a baby, baby bag of Cheetos. True. It fit. True. It just it worked Thanks, out Annette. that way. Thank you, Val. Uh, uh, it looks delicious. Khaki looks amazing. Khaki. Thanksgiving came early, and then yes. Rebel Beast, so because of health issues, I can't play in the USA All-Stars football game. I'm sorry to hear that, Rebel Beast. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What's up, Anthony? Oh, hello, Anthony. How are you? I didn't know that you were, unless you've said it before, and it, it went over my head and it slipped my mind, USA All-Star football game? How would you even get into that? Yeah, I'm so hurt. I'm sorry that you're hurt, but how you you play you play pro ball? I love stuffing. Me too. I love stuffing. I love stuffing so much. All right, Rebel Beast, I'm waiting on you, brother. Right. Do you think mine's gonna be good? I think it's gonna be delicious. Yeah, I think yours is gonna be good. Uh, oh, thank you, Val. I, I, you know what? The, the my, my, um, the lady that did my hair did a very nice job. Yeah, but I think she did a great job. She did, she did a really good job. And I'll tell you this: um, getting out of the shower because I put, I let it get wet, wet tonight. Uh, it was so much easier to brush. So much, no knots, no like, like, like killing me to brush it. Uh, it was just, it was easy. Very easy. I put leave-in conditioner on the ends like she recommended. Hello, Nikki. I made the same meal. meal last Sunday. Khaki, so good. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. I've been dying for, like, cranberry sauce, chicken, uh, turkey, gravy, and stuffing. I'm dying You for know, it. Val, when it comes to the hair length, I like how it looks with a shirt on, right? And luckily, it's not as cold as tonight, but last night, it was so cold. And I didn't like the way because I'm I've, I put on some 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 weight some fat a little bit nothing crazy, and uh, you know it, you, I, the, because my hair was cut and you I, you could tell so um, that's something I noticed so I was happy to put my shirt back on last night. But I appreciate the compliment. I think she did a great job. I'm gonna go I see think she her. Did a good job too. I'm gonna go see her again and have her do it professionally for my brother's wedding. All right, so here it goes from Rebel Beast. Well, I play semi-pro football, and the way you get on the team, they draft you if they like the videos you send in of yourself playing. I have been playing semi-pro ball for 15 years. I played on the USA team twice. Wow. That's awesome. That was awesome. Very sorry you're hurt. What's going on with you? Back issues? Or if I had to guess, something with your knees. Do you all have more light today? Do you have more light today? Mm. What do you mean? I don't know. I don't know what you mean, Val. 
I always brush my hair after leave-in conditioner as well. Always. I brush my hair before I get into the shower. I brush my hair after I get in the shower. And then I condition it or whatever I do. And then I always brush it again. Do we seem brighter? Is that what you mean? Or are you talking about sunlight? Stomach issues. My blood levels are low and my iron levels. Oh, uh, okay. Well, speedy recovery, brother. Hopefully you get good and, and ready for next next year. You know? I know it sucks missing out on something, especially something you look forward to and something so uh, cool as that. Yeah, but that's pretty awesome. If, if next year's on the table for you, it's something to look forward to and it's something to practice and make yourself even better than what you are right now. Um, to maybe stand out more next year, if it's something you could do. I don't know, I'm not, I know nothing about like those kind of issues. So I'm just trying to be positive <laughs> for you. <clears throat> it looks brighter. And yeah, well, the light might be a little bit closer, Val. Push it back. Maybe. I don't want it to be bright. I don't like looking Twilight. No. I, I rewatched some of like last night's stream when you turned that big light on because Lucky had something. Yeah. I was just like, damn. Right? I'm like, why is that big light on? Because <laughs> I saw it on camera. I was like, oh my god. I'm pale Next as anything. Next year will be Brazil. Next year will be Brazil. Well, hopefully you get the team, man. Yeah, what? that'd be awesome. Right? I, you know, I, um, I, I don't think I've ever told my football story on here before, but there was a time where I tried out for the high school team, and I didn't know where the shoulder pads were. Uh, that's how stupid I am. <laughs> I didn't know where the shoulder pads were. I didn't you know, know how to... shoulder pads were? No, no, no. I didn't know how to put them on, or I didn't know something, and the coach told me to get off the field. <laughs> I didn't want to play anyway. So, um, I, wasn't a, I wasn't a big football fan watcher. My brothers are going to a Jets game tomorrow in New mm -hmm. Jersey. So they all got uh, jerseys and hoodies uh, from my brother's girlfriend. And uh, they're leaving at like 8 o'clock in the morning. Something crazy like that. Yeah, they said like 7.30, 8 o'clock they're leaving. Because they're, they're going to tailgate. Yeah, so me and, my, me and my mom and my son and my brother's girlfriend might be going out to sushi tomorrow for lunch. So it would be nice if we do do that. I don't know if, if, if we're going to. But Kaki's going to a, um, a my be bridal my be shower. I'm not going to a bridal shower. I'm going to my best friend's son's um, christening tomorrow. Mm. Let me let TikTok in. So that's where I'm going. He put his cup on his nose. He thought it went there. Yes, you know what? There will be some <laughs> people that don't play football. <laughs> Man, they don't know where all the they don't know all the parts and stuff. But like, they're, listen, they're, I'm not, I'm 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 a female. When you play football, you just you know what I mean. There's there is a lot of. <laughs> I at least know where the cup goes. <laughs> there's a lot of parts. There's kidney parts. There's 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 parts. Kidney that, parts. Oh yeah, they have side pads too. <laughs> I didn't know what that was either. They didn't give me a hard time because that's I guess understandable. But the question I asked about the shoulder 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 pads was like. It was the biggest insult to a football coach, I guess. Nice christening. Well, it, yes, there'll be candles. I, I'm assuming there's going to be candles. There's usually candles at christenings. I can't tell you. I, so I was going to go to the christening after party. I wasn't going to the, the original thing at the church, though. But because our son is getting over being sick, it's just... A, yeah, it's, did, it's, I didn't want to bring him... It's it's being around. Hello, Tricky Mickey. It's it's probably better off safety first, not bringing anybody that was That's sick. Sick around, you know, around a, a baby. baby. Yeah, it's just so. it's smart. Mm -hmm. Last thing I would want is for one of our kids to infect. Or just you know what? Uh, even to get a parent for thinking, a worried, like oh my god, what happens if he is still kind of sick? You know, it's just, it, would, it makes more sense to do it that way. Yeah, granted, it's probably allergies anyway. To hey, Ross. Honest, but hey, want to hear my dream? Sure. Safe than sorry. Rather be safe than sorry. What, what, you, what is your dream? Everybody's got different dreams. Dreams change. My dreams they do. change all the time. Listen, I have like the weirdest dreams lately, and I can't even. Oh, your dream dream. I thought, well, it's a bathroom. In a bathroom stall? The kookier, the better. Let's hear it. <laughs> I had a great dream today when I took a nap, and it was about me running and being able to glide. Yeah. I was just telling Kat in the car. 
I was running so fast, so easy, so hard, no problems. And my so I, for some reason I was running with just socks and my socks were like falling off. And instead of me stopping to run, I was able to stay in the air every time I jumped so high that I could just fix it. <laughs> so <laughs> I guess that's how you know you, you love something when you dream about it. And then you kind of wake up knowing that you can't do that. So, ah, uh, shigaboo. Low battery. <sighs> Is that your wife eating? Yes. Hi. I'm Khaki. Nice to meet you. Khaki, the ragweed is bad everywhere. Yeah, you know what? There was a point in time like last week where I was just sneezing like crazy. I could not stop sneezing. It's just freaking allergies. Yeah, that's a scary they take, feeling. They take different tolls on different people and like. Our son sounds like crap. He's so nasally and everything, and he just sounds like he's sick. But he's really not sick, it's just allergy. Is that the one, two, three kid? That's kind of getting old, you know? <clears throat> Hello, Sarah. Hope all is well. Thank you. Hope all is well with you, too. Yeah, we're good. We know it's Saturday night, eating pizza and turkey rolls. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Oh, hello, Nancy. Oh, you girl. It was a weird dream. Yeah, yeah. Well, we all have weird dreams. Ross, you said it was a bathroom stall, so I kind of figured it was going there. <laughs> it's going to be a weird dream. I still want to hear it. Let it out. I'm trying to, you know, think of the, the last Listen, we're weird we're all friends here. We're all friends here. Okay. We can talk about weird dreams. Turkey's yeah. Roll, yeah, thank you, Tricky Mickey. These are really good. Why don't you show TikTok a close-up? Let's get into the Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Am I going to be disappointed? I didn't salt it yet, but look at that. I get, guess what, Dave? No flop. What do you think about that? Where are you going to find a better pizza with no flop? Oh, see, your allergy medicine has been, your allergies have been bad, even taking allergy medicine. Yeah. It's just, you know, how, I guess it is, regardless. Hope you all have a great... No, thank you, Puzzle. Mm. Alright, so this is what I have ticked up. I have turkey rolls stuffed with stuffing, topped with gravy and cranberry sauce, some mashed potatoes, and some broccoli. Right. <clears throat> what kind of rating do you think I'm going to give Chuck E. G's pizza? I think try it with salt, too. Jack's Pizza ain't got flop, LOL. Eight... Zero, it's not a zero, it's Negative not a two. zero, two. It's great, oh my god, that looks awesome. Alright. Listen, Chuck E. Cheese pizza, when you get it there and it's fresh. No, even when it's been sitting. When you get Chuck E. Cheese pizza when it's first fresh and they bring it to your table and you take that first bite, that first bite is delicious. 6.3? Did you make the turkey rolls? Yes. Yes, I did. I made them myself. But this is good. I like it. This is my normal pizza. I have one slice. Do you also freeze your Cheetos? Yes, he does. Yeah, big difference. Your partner's dinner looks so much nicer than that dry sounding pizza. <laughs> well, Hugo, this pizza is from a very fancy wrap. Very famous rat. Chucky. E. Cheese. Cheese. <clears throat> and I admit $23 on a on a pie this Listen, big is kind of... Listen, when he told me he spent that much on that pie, I was just like, I would have returned it, <laughs> to be honest. My son who's visiting is flying home tomorrow. Won't see him for a year. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Pam. Oh, Pam. Do you time your runs or just run for distance? Um... I usually do the same sort of route. It all depends on how I'm feeling. I'm my knees are pretty, pretty rotten these days, so it's usually four miles. Unless I'm feeling spunky, feeling good, feeling alive, and I don't, I don't feel any pain. I'll do my normal seven, eight miles. Chuck E. Oh, Cheese yeah. pizza yeah. time. Yes, Kirsten. Hello. Are you gonna have Chuck E. Cheese in Australia? Yeah, yeah I guess it's an American <sighs> thing. This is not bad. Hey, Stacy. I like Chuck E. Cheese pizza when it's fresh. 
It's not bad. I do have one slice from my regular spot. And of course, their pizza is good. Yeah, your brother's pizza came tonight. And I was just like, well, I think I'm not going to order like, extra Damn. cheese anymore. Like, it looked really good. I'm not going to order extra cheese anymore. That's like when we opened the box, I was just like, you need to send that to Jamie, like right now. Or you can eat that entire pizza alone. I might. It's not that big. No, but I have garlic knot salad. Hello, doll. How are you doing? Hello, doll. How are you, girl? Kirsten, are you a, are you a fan of Chuck E. Cheese pizza? Annette, what did you, what do you think? I know you said Chuck E. You voted Chuck E. Cheese over over uh, Little Caesars. Bonjour. Oh, bonjour. How are you? Bonjour. Hello, friends from Tahiti. Tahiti, Fasidi. I'm, I'm not eating the crust. Do you ever get indigestion from eating so late just before bed? No. Next day, sometimes I'll get heartburn. Sometimes. Very rare. The next day I'll get heartburn, depending on what I eat. If I eat something like really, 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 really spicy, I might have like some issues in the morning. Doing great. Great to see you. Ah, doll, it's nice talking to you. I feel like me and you are building a relationship. Again. Yes, she's here all the time. Well, she messages me too, and I message her mm -hmm. back. We message too. She sends me like really cute dog videos. Yeah. And I started to send nice. her dog videos back. <laughs> What's up, my peeps? Hello, Steve. All right, maybe I am eating the crust. The crust is actually good. Hello, guys. I'm glad I caught you. Those turkey rolls look fire. Thank you, Lynn Ariel. They are fire. They're delicious. They're really, really, really good. Five years old? Mm hmm Do you both eat during the day? I do. I don't. Kagi, don't. I agree. I feel the same way. Well, doll, I feel, um, you know, remember, you, you've been in, you've been, you're in here enough to know my trust issues. I don't trust anybody. It's rare. Do I feel safe with you? I feel like I can, you know, talk to you and, and, um. Oh, well, thank you for the gifts. <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate Thank that. Thank you. I don't say that to a lot of people either. No, you don't. No. I, but, You've had but, sunglasses for a split second. I didn't see the sunglasses. Split second you did. <sighs> I, met, I, I also texted my buddy today, who I haven't seen up until a couple months ago. In years is another gift. Thank you very much for the dancing cactus. Oh, thank you. And I didn't, uh, I, I messaged him only because... Oh, thank you, Crystal. I've said this before. I, I was one of those friends that um, kind of disappears, <laughs> especially in like my wrestling friends circle. I would see them and then I would disappear. I would go away for a while and I would, you know what I mean? But every time I would reach out or we would meet up, it was like we never left. Mm -hmm. And he was one of those friends. He was like my first f friend in wrestling. And uh, I, I messaged, I looked at the last time I talked to him, and it was in July. I'm like, holy shit, two months. And I'm like, I'm, I just saw, I, I just, I shot him a message just saying, hey, just checking in, saying hello, didn't want to disappear again. <laughs> the headband is super awesome. Thank you very much. What's up, Matt? Pizza again? Yeah, but you know what, uh, Fred? This time it's Chuck E. Cheese pizza, so it doesn't count. Oh, hello, Matt. How are you, man? Thank you, Dolph, for the gifts. Oh, love you too, bro. Thank you. Mwah. Thank you. Chuck E. Cheese was involved in a scandal? For what? Hey, Jamie, long time no see. Hi, Cherry. Hello, Cherry. How are you? It has been a long time. Everything okay? What's new? Anything, uh, anything crazy good going on? Chuck E. Cheese was involved in a scandal a couple of years ago. Yeah. She oh, was and what type of scandal was it? I was just telling Kaki about the Ariana Grande video I saw of her licking a donut and then apparently spitting That's on it. That's old. Yeah, she said it was old. I'm like, I never seen it. <laughs> That's an old video. Reselling old slices? No, this was a fresh pack. Uh-huh. Love the music you put on your videos. Thank you, Curtis. Yeah, da-da-da-da-da-da. Okay, and then I'll check it out mm -hmm. later. Maybe that was the scandal. 
resting old slices selling to people? I have no idea. <laughs> you want to try mine? It's not bad. What, the Chuck E. Cheese pizza? Yeah, not bad. What am I eating? I have Thanksgiving turkey rolls. Ugh. It's Halloween soon. I'm not crazy for Halloween. I'm not crazy going into a store and seeing all the Halloween decorations. Just not my type of holiday. Uh, hubby loves in the morning for four days he golf trip. Aww. It's okay, doll. You're gonna have us. We're gonna keep you company. You got us, girl. Don't you worry. Bed. Have a good night. Love you guys. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Where's the doggy tonight? Hopefully not down oh, here. Oh, thank God he's he not was, here. Guys, he was he, a pain in the ass last night. He, he, oh. he's the cutest thing in the whole wide world, right? Uh, he is. But he was so persistent. He's a pizza dog. It, that was the, pizza is the only night you're going to see him not give up. And if you watched the full stream last night, he didn't back down one bit. It's true. I'll That's be bad. eating pizza. Very good. Very good, doll. Are you guys going to watch Halloween End? The new Halloween movie. I didn't even um, see the last one, doll. Not me. Probably not. That wasn't doll. That was that was Annette. Annette, that I'm sorry. Um, probably not. I didn't even see the last one. And honestly, I'm not the biggest Halloween fan. I'm not a, I'm not a horror guy. I'm not a violence. I'm not a violence guy. I'm not a screaming guy. I can't. I don't feel comfortable watching that kind of stuff anymore. So as much as I was invested into the, the Michael Myers character and where the movie goes with the different directors and the different storylines, uh, especially the Rob Zombie ones was mm. very brutal, very... Those are very gory. Too lifelike. Very graphic. Yeah, and just as it, it, not for me anymore. Uh, you gotta know what's in the double cup. Oh, well, I just I say fruit punch. You were it's telling your punch. husband about Lucky doll. <laughs> I can only imagine what you're saying. Oh, he's so cute, but he's a badass. He don't listen. He hops up on the counter. Yeah, he was eating a bottle. He hops up on people. Oh, today he he tried chewing a bottle hey, of MB. you know hand sanitizer. Don't know where he got it from. Background. You can be the victims, not the bad guys. What? I'm sorry, Val. I missed what you said before that. <laughs> I, don't know what he's I don't know if you were talking to us or you were talking oh, to Annette. In the background, you can be the victims, not the bad guys. Oh, saying there's somebody in our background. There's nobody back there. We're good. It's just us and the dogs and the kids. Target right. already has Christmas decor. Yeah, I'm sure they do. And guess what? Before Christmas, you know what they're going to have, Annette? They're going to have freaking Valentine's Day crap. Guarantee it. Mark my words. You heard it here first. What? Talk about rushing the seasons. Yeah. I'm all for rushing Christmas. Halloween? I feel like every season is just rushed. Yeah, well, I just don't like the orange and I don't like the, the pumpkins and the, the scary cats and the moons. You know? I get new lights during the season. During like... Halloween and Christmas, which is always fun to do. Costco has Christmas decorations up as well. Oh, I'm sure they do. Kaki, did you see the video I sent you of my daughter's homecoming dress? No, I did not, MB. I did not. I'll have to check it out. I might have to take the headband off tonight and put my hair up because something's going on with my left ear now. Oh, and then Doll sent me a video for dogs. I have to check my DMs. I have not been... I'm not deaf, but it hurts. I have not been on TikTok in a while. Hey, Cortland. Hello, Court. Hello, M. Killa. It's hard to decipher the creeps. That's true, it is. You what, You'd be correct here? on that, yeah. It's hard to decipher. Why? Because you don't know who... Who's like really likes you and who doesn't really like you, but oh. pretends to like like you. Oh yeah, no, I know that. <laughs> I know that there are people that we talk to and that we're very nice to, and they're 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 creepy as fuck. They don't really like us. They're just, you know, so that happens. Things. That's the internet. That's social media. You, oh, you know I'm, be, I'm gonna have to check it out. I'll I, check it out as soon as we send off. I pay attention to names and I pay attention to the way people talk to us and. Uh, 
ask questions and shoot me messages. Mm -hmm. And you know what I mean? Like, am I right about all of them? No. There's probably someone that kind of has my heart that I'm about to get. You know what I mean? It's about to be. It is what it is. I don't. I can't do nothing about it. Actually, you know what? I mean, I'm going to look now. <sighs> I got to get the double cup next time I go to the mall and fruit punch with Sprite, my jam. Very cool. Real recognize real dog. Ah, thank you very much. Yeah. <clears throat> I agree. I do agree. Oh, she looks so pretty. What is it? That's MB's daughter. Oh, very pretty girl. Don't take it away from me. I need to see it too. I'm not. The black dress is from. Mm -hmm. Aww. Hey, it's nice. Oh, look at her. <laughs> she looks just like you, girl. Just like you. What's up, Mikey? She has your face. Hello from Daytona Beach. Hello. What's up, Bam Bam? <clears throat> How are you guys? Oh, I, I'm not listening to it sound, but I'll oh. listen to it sound after. But MP, oh. What is she, a senior now? What's up, M Stamp? Jamie, your headband is wonderful. I have wallpaper like that in my guest bathroom. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's homecoming season. Yeah, it is homecoming season. Cortland, it's the same. You know the purple? You know the purple headband She's I have with the yellow oh. and pink flowers? It's the same kind of fabric. Thank you, Dime. Uh, she's a sophomore. Okay. Well, she looks very pretty. She's very pretty. And her pretty. dress is very nice. Very, very pretty. I didn't go to my homecoming. I only went to one homecoming. It was only because I was invited by somebody that asked me as, like, as their date. Yeah. But other than that, I didn't go to my own homecoming when I was a senior. I didn't give a crap about it. To be honest. Looking back, I, I I used to go to like the school dances. Hello, user. Yeah, so did I. I used to go to the school dances, but... Hello, user. How are you, girl? Maybe did I miss out on homecoming? Maybe. Did I miss out on prom? I don't think... If I, if I were to go back and look at the week before I decided to just not go back to school and focus on wrestling training. Um, I don't even think I had a girlfriend or I don't think anybody was even interested in me my senior year. But you didn't know. Because you didn't really... Well, I wasn't talking with anybody. Because when I got when I left school, I I don't even remember who I was hanging out with, really. It's funny how, like, you remember certain things, but some things are just very foggy. I was all focused on wrestling. I didn't go to mine because it was in Portland. It was, like, two hours away. I did go to my prom, that. I went to my prom. I had a good time, too. Yeah. Nope. I wasn't even talking to anybody. When I left school, I, I left school, and I didn't even talk to people from school. Unless I would, like, bump into them somewhere. <clears throat> you said you did go to your prom? I went to my prom. And you know what? I did talk to, like, my friends from high school. For, like, I don't know, like, maybe almost a year. Until, like... After school? We, yeah, until, like, after we grew up. Because, like, we went to different colleges. My best friend at the time, she went to college in Staten Island. I went to college um, on Long Island, so... You know, we did keep in touch. We did talk for a very long time. But then, like, you kind of, you know, yeah. you make new friends. You make, you make adult friends. You make new friends, and then you kind of, like, lose touch. And then, like, there's points in times where, like, oh, my God, you're home. Let's get together. And, like, you hang out, like, once, and, like, that's it. Did you leave senior year? Yeah, I, dr I, I stopped going to school. So I started wrestling training as a sophomore. And then that school closed down, and then I stopped, and then I went, I went and started going to a different school, and then that one stopped for some reason. 
trying to remember. It's all very fuzzy. And then I was, wasn't doing it. I had a job. And I was still looking to go to different schools. And then I finally found one um, through a guy that I liked. And it was through, like, this church. It's a long story. Oh, hello, Melissa. <clears throat> hello. How are you? You wore the yellow dress, you said. Yes. I had yellow. It wasn't bright yellow. It was, like, a pale yellow. And it was sparkly. It was like a Cinderella dress, but it wasn't blue. It was yellow. It was you know very what? poofy. You know what the nice dress is? I like the bell dress from Beauty and the Beast. That's my favorite kind of yellow. Me too. It was kind of that color. Miss it Elizabeth. wasn't like bright, bright yellow. It was like a pale yellow. When the Mega Powers, before they exploded, um, Miss Elizabeth have, had, uh, I believe it was like the yellow, the, that yellow uh, underwear. And they ripped the skirt off. It was the secret weapon or something like that. Any wrestling fans in here, correct me if I'm wrong, but pretty sure. I still have a few friends on the East Coast from grade school and junior high. Hey, Kevin. 36, what's up? Oh, hello, Kevin. How are you? I probably... I, I still talk to like my first I'm best talking, friend. I don't talk to nobody. Like my first like elementary school best friend. I still talk to her from now and then. Hello, like, Caroline. Like friends on Facebook. And like every now and then, like we'll talk, but I don't talk to anybody. It's not school. like how we used to be, like when we were like eleven and 12, 12 years old. Yeah, I have one friend, but they're brothers, so technically two friends. When I was little, that I wouldn't mind re kindling some sort of relationship with but for the most part everybody that I did know from school don't give two shits about don't care about rekindling anything anything it's just that's the past that could stay stayed back there you know mine was black oh the prom dress oh your prom dress is black <clears throat> and you had your prom on the USS Midway oh, in San Diego, that sounds awesome. I don't mean to come off negative when I say friends from the past could stay in the past. It's just that I remember how high school was, and it's, it wasn't a fond memory. Listen, so. certain parts of high school were not fond memories. Yeah. But for the most part, my senior year, I had very fond memories of my senior year. I had more friends in, when I was wrestling that I would love to meet up with and talk to and catch up with and have a, a good relationship with them rather than people from school days. You know? Yeah. I talk to very few friends. I talk to very fry friends. I hated <clears throat> high school. I didn't hate high school. I actually liked high school. I actually liked school just in general. I wish I could go back to high school with my current mindset. It would be a different ball game. It would be a very different ball game. All the kids that picked on me, all the kids that started fights with me, I would, yeah, I would, I wouldn't take shit from nobody. No, but I'd go back all the way to fourth grade when it first started, <laughs> if I had this mindset, and I would start there, develop my, <laughs> develop myself right then and there when it first happened. Uh, brother got the Cheetos on the pizza. Little bag, yeah. Oh, hello, Jevy. How hey, are Jevy. you, man? What's up, buddy? Imagine how you think right now as an adult. Imagine if you could take that with you back in the past. <laughs> of course, as I have Facebook friends with a lot of high school friends. Man, it's funny how they are still yeah, high school trying on on. to keep up. Huh. I went to high school on Long Island, yep. We both did. We don't give towns no, we're not or giving schools, away so nothing. please don't ask. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Living on a pine. That growing pain song is still stuck in my head. <sighs> I'm sure it was. I didn't know regular people could go on those. Same here. 
Suffolk, I won't either. either. Yeah, no, no big deal. Yeah, you don't, don't, we don't give away locations. Yeah, and we, I wouldn't ask you to do so either. Mm -hmm. Hello, symbol gal. Hello. How you doing, girl? Long time no talk. How you been? Hey, have you been keeping up with Munchkin? I just told you I talked to her last week. I'm going to shoot her a message after this or tomorrow. Just check in on her. I was just talking to her. We, we were talking last week, her and I. Hi, Marco. How are you? Hello, Marco. <clears throat> wow, I think it's the buttery crust that's got me full from the pizza. Doll's going to Doll's gonna say something tomorrow that she's eating pizza. And whatever it is I decide to eat for dinner tomorrow is going to have me craving pizza. <laughs> Probably. I guarantee it. When I was friends with so many other foodies that would post their dinners on a nightly basis, and they decided to do dinner, I remember this one guy, I'm still friends with him on Instagram, uh, but I don't really see his posts a lot. Oh, uh, thank you, Holly Pop, for the gift. His name was Eric, and he would always post like cereal, and he would, he's very creative. And he would always do pizza on Sundays after I just got off of a pizza weekend. <laughs> and he yeah, would, If you remember he would, correctly, he, I used to do my cheat dinners on Sundays. Yeah. He used to get mad at me. Yeah. Like, why don't you do it this day? I don't want to do it. I want to do it on a Sunday. You had Connie he salad? He used to get mad at me. Oh, Connie salad. Oh, you like Connie salad. Uh, my glory days were my teens. Six, I missed it. I haven't seen Yeah, I want to see Doll. Hello, Jill. Where did you see that? Oh, my a security stand. My glory days were in my teens. 6'4", 140. Soaking wet. From 13 to 19. Oh, thank you, Eddie. The whole house isn't like this. This is just part of the set. The lights and everything is put here for the videos and for the live stream. You need to do a house tour. Your house is lit. Thank you, but we probably won't do a house tour. That's not something we're probably going to do as a house tour. No. Who do you think should be the man to beat Roman Reigns? Cody Rhodes? Cody Rhodes, I think. But I have a feeling they're going to... Because they're setting up for, apparently, rumored, is it's going to be Roman and Rock at WrestleMania. Now, that match does not need a title, right? But it wouldn't be bigger if it was for a title. But how do you take the belt off of Roman to, you know what I mean, and then have him go into WrestleMania coming off of a loss, losing a title after having it for over two years? So unless they find a way to get that belt off of him without him losing it, I don't know. I think Cody's coming back for the Rumble and winning the Rumble and then going to WrestleMania to win the title. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, crazy. It'll be interesting time coming up. Hope Cody does. I think everybody wants Cody to do it. If it was up to me... If it was up to me, I would keep Roman champion another year. You know what I mean? When it comes to popularity and like the people the fans go crazy for, other than Roman, I, did, if anybody saw SmackDown last night, uh, that that's that promo segment with Sami Zayn and the and, and Roman and the Usos was amazing, amazing. You were watching it. Weren't you? Were you watching at me? I was not. Mm. I was legit. trying to catch up on the um. Cody goes the, to the AW. Law Order <laughs> triple freaking night series thing. I was trying to watch the last episode of it. Yeah, man, that promo was, it was good because you. I knew so. I was watching. And uh, as soon as he said the shirt thing, I knew where he was going. And I noticed Usos and them had a new Bloodline shirt. And Sammy was still rocking the old one. So I kind of knew when Roman got on the 
the t-shirt, the t-shirt, the t-shirt. I kind of knew he was going to give him a new one. But it was a good promo. And the, and the crowd loved it. Are you full? Yeah, I'm getting there. Want a piece of pizza? I'm getting full. Why would I want a piece of pizza? <laughs> Does it hurt to ask? Thank you for the offer, but no thank you. Security stands oh, up. Thank, thank you, you for, for the, the gift. gift. That was awesome. Christian Cage, what, the first one he did? Christian, Christian was good. Oh, there, there's, listen, these last couple months, there's, some, there's, been, me, there's been some really good promos. Kevin Owens did a really good one. A couple of them. Uh, Moxley did a good one that I have to rewatch because I wasn't paying attention to it. But it got a lot of buzz. Love your necklace. Mine is made with abalone shell with some silver pepperoni slices. I don't know what this is made of. Um, you picked it out. And I, I picked just, it out and I forgot about and it. And he forgot about it. I and added it to my Amazon cart and I made sure to get it for him. <laughs> Me and the kids got it for him. What's up, Jordan? I agree. But if I was running AEW right now, I would have given the belt to Danielson and had him how he was against Paige. Where he was kind of, he was heel. <clears throat> and have him do that for a year. <clears throat> Make the belt mean something more. Keep it on. A reliable, good wrestler. <clears throat> My fellow Canadians are shining right now all over wrestling. Soraya in AEW now. Oh my god. Yeah, that's cool too. Oh, thank you, Catch Kevin. Tell her I said thank you very much. <clears throat> Hopefully, my hair will be back to normal I've and have some like volume on it. Doing in a different days. things to my hair lately. <laughs> like what? Like washing it less. Ah, you're welcome. I know you got that from me. I, I wash my hair twice a week. You got that week. from me, Kaggy. I Don't wash you my hair twice a week, not once a month. Just <laughs> ruined it more. <laughs> Ugh. Now once a month. Oh, I just... <laughs> well, and I'm then gonna... instead of putting like that green conditioner, I put in oil. I get like the, it's Aussie like moisture rich like oil, and I've been doing that for like a while now. She and gets it's that really, from me. It's really been making a difference in my hair, especially the ends because my ends are so dry. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna take my hair. I do Kathy, that. what are you watching recently? <clears throat> Recently, well, The Handmaid's Tale just came back, so I'm watching that. Um, I want to start the Jeffrey Dahmer um, really. thing on, on Netflix. I'm not gonna watch it with you. I'll watch it on my days off. It's on Netflix. I want to start watching that, but I'm gonna wait a little bit on that. And then, what else am I watching? Oh, all of my shows came back: Chicago Fire, Chicago Med, SVU. All of those happy things. And then La Brea came back. Well, that comes back on Tuesday. You're starting... Under his eye. May you're the starting Lord down open. on Monday? Praise be. I don't know when I'm going to start it. No, MB. Are you going to start the Dahmer on Monday? Nice. That's something I definitely... What is that on, HBO? No, it's on Netflix. <laughs> First episode was terrible, and I hear it gets way better. <laughs> So I'm sticking it out. Tom and his wife had to really shut it off after the first episode. Yeah, I heard it's really, really, really bad. What creepy wise? Like, I don't know if it's creepy wise or graphic wise or like how they portray it. I don't know, but I'm gonna watch it just because I like crap like that. I don't know. Yeah. I'm weird. I heard about cutting penises off. I'm like, I don't, I don't need to know about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. We were talking about that with um, uh, her the other day. <laughs> I'm done. No more. Oh. Well, a lot of leftovers tomorrow for the kids. The last I thing I watched... Killer stuff too, yeah. I watched the Ted Bundy thing. We watched the Ted Bundy movie. Which yeah, movie? that was with uh, Zach Zac Efron. Efron. I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> Not very graphic. No, but I heard this one's like really like in depth. Yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know. You ready for bed? Chili sauce. Yes. I'm ready for bed. All right, Chico. Good night, guys. Have, Have a good night, guys. Good rest of your weekend. We'll see you tomorrow night. Something creative. Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna eat Me, tomorrow. something creative. I'm doing something. <clears throat> something good. I got a couple of ideas. <clears throat>